Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. I don't know about you guys, I know I'm seeing a lot of leftoids linking snap polls, a lot of people making big, grandiose claims that the Trump guilty verdict is taking down Donald Trump. Nobody's gonna vote for a felon is what they keep saying. I don't know if I see it the same way, purely based on what I'm seeing. Now, I have to admit, we haven't done a full data analysis on the issue because there's just not enough data yet, and obviously there hasn't been enough time for the initial hysteria to dissipate a little, but based on certain anecdotes, based on just word of mouth, what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, I don't think the Democrats are getting what they were hoping for, and they certainly don't seem to get what they were hoping for with black voters. Of course, building on top of one of their most major pain points this election season, the Democrat exodus of the black vote, let's just say it doesn't seem like the verdict helped, and we've got some initial signs of that from Charlemagne's show, here's black Trump supporters and black voters calling into the breakfast club and giving them a real earful. We got some some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks. As I stated, we don't have much polling data, but at least we have this. Following the Trump verdict on The Breakfast Club, they had four black voters call in, and four out of four of those voters essentially were siding with Trump. The clips are a little bit long. I'll do my best to edit it down to keep it as short as possible, but take a look. So what's your thoughts on Donald Trump and the fact that he's a convicted felon now? Does that change your views on him? No, sir. I am a convicted felon, man. I'm still the best guy that I know. Long story short, it's not going to stop you from supporting I, Donald I, I, Trump. Yes, sir. Still in there. Not yes, sir. No. They still in there. Well, I'm going to tell you, man, I feel like Trump got dead dirty. And I don't trust the system at all. You know what I mean? Um, especially being through the system. I'm the same one that called yesterday about that dog situation. So it's like after you've been railroaded by this system and you see that when you walk in the courtroom, they want you to be guilty. You're going to be guilty. I don't got no trust in that process at all. You know what I mean? I rock with Trump. I feel like that he um he way better than Biden. You know, Biden, I can't stand him. Biden the devil, man. And so how can anybody black vote for Biden? The antics that those people take, he going to black cookouts all of a sudden, he's doing all this stupidness. It's like a slap in the face. I respect Trump because at least Trump real. Trump but, real. But he, might, you... he, might, he might sound stupid, he's not articulate, whatever. My quality of life was better under Trump. We didn't have all these problems at the border under Trump. What the hell is going on? Now, this person that was racist in the 90s is going to potentially be president of the United States of America again. So you don't think that he's going to implement policies that will be racist? I'm just asking questions. I'm just playing white devil's advocate. No. Oh, okay. Not at all. Not at all. Because cause when Trump was in office, I didn't have the problems I have now. At all. I don't think it was ever about a black and white when Trump was in office. Yeah, but it's definitely about a black and white with Biden. And, uh, you're a Trump supporter. We're asking the fact that he's a convicted felon. He was convicted of 33, uh, 34 counts yesterday. Uh, does that change your view on Donald Trump? Well, my family is a Trump supporter, and I think I'm probably going to end up voting for him. At this point, you know, Biden is not that good either, and my family is already voting for Trump, so I'm thinking, you know, if anything else would be better, anybody else would be better, but... Boy, Nobody stepped up. Boy, you know? de Democrats, y'all in trouble come November. So, so you a Trump supporter, man? Does the fact that he's a convicted felon, does that change your views, bro? Not at all, man. I got plenty of homies who, who have felonies who are good people, man. Who are good people. Are you voting in November? Absolutely. I voted last time. Who'd you vote for last time? The time before that. For Trump, I did. Who'd I you, did. I voted for him. The, listen, the first time he got in, I didn't vote for him, but the second time I did. Oh, so you voted for Hillary in 2016. Nah, I wrote in Bernie Sanders. I ain't even going front. How the hell you... Oh, you wrote in Bernie Sanders. Okay, so you wrote in Bernie wrote Sanders in Bernie Sanders. I wrote in Bernie Sanders. You voted 2020 yeah. for Trump, and this year you're going to vote for Trump again. Yes, sir. It's exactly what we've been talking about. Now, of course, this is anecdotal evidence. It's only four examples, and you really never know how things are being manipulated and edited, but it does give us a general idea. If those were genuine call-ins, and that's how people are feeling, it's exactly how we expected. It's what we predicted. I mean, for Pete's sakes, it's what even Charlemagne himself has predicted many times. He's been a vocal critic on the matter, voicing similar concerns to what Chris Rock said, that indicting Donald Trump would essentially make him a martyr, possibly worst of all, 
you know, I guess the switch up in the narrative, Donald Trump is supposedly, you know, this evil villain guy. He's a threat to your safety, your rights, and of course, mud democracy. You know, it's framing that's worked for the Democrats in recent times. The fear-mongering surrounding Donald Trump. Well, after this, you make him less scary, actually. You make yourself seem scary. The Democrats have made themselves seem scary, and they've turned Donald Trump into the victim, into the martyr. They've made him more relatable. And I think that's especially true for black voters, considering what he's facing, unjust legal persecution. It simply makes him more relatable with black voters, because that's obviously a very serious social concern of theirs as a community. Well, now all of a sudden, Donald Trump's the victim of this persecution, and it bothers them. But then on the other end of this, you have 47% of Americans who believe that the charges brought against the former president were politically motivated. Who would have thought that imprisoning your political opponents would freak regular people out? You know, like I mentioned in the intro, every leftist and their mother is posting this poll right over here from Reuters slash Ipsos. Would you vote for Donald Trump for president in 2024 if he has been convicted of a felony crime by a jury? Supposedly, 54% of respondents said no and only 34 said yes. Ooh, so spooky. We've seen this gauging of sentiment, of course, but I've never actually seen it actually play out in the numbers. Supposedly, everyone's gonna ditch Trump, according to this poll, if he's found guilty, but the poll itself, which is a national survey, only shows Biden gaining by two. In other words, low to minimal impact, arguably no real impact at all still within the margin of error, and keep in mind Joe Biden needs to win by four or five nationally to stand a chance in the Electoral College, I think what you're seeing is an initial reaction. A lot of people just following the headlines, oh, Donald Trump's a criminal? Whoa, I can't vote for that guy. He was found guilty. But then, of course, with time, the hysteria slowly starts to dissipate, then the sober analysis starts to come in, and people start to realize exactly what's going on, and then Trump, as per usual, comes out either unscathed, undamaged, or more more powerful than before. It happens every time during all the attacks, during all the impeachments, all the investigations. It all almost always backfires. And I think just give this one a little bit of time, it's still extremely fresh, and we're likely to see the trend continue here. Especially considering the ammunition that the Trump team now currently has, not only does he have a great message casting himself as a martyr, but he's now got record-breaking amounts of millions of dollars in donations to really spread that message from coast to coast it's going to start resonating. I'm not going to look at two polls and come to a conclusion like the blue anon leftoids want me to. I'm going to look at the totality of polls, which for the most part shows this election as relatively unchanged. And of course, I'm looking forward as to what's to come here. We got tens of millions of dollars about to be mobilized, an extremely powerful story to tell. And obviously, many voter groups are becoming increasingly more sympathetic to the former president. In other words, the Democrats still have a problem. Their problem might be worse than it was initially. Black and Hispanic voters continue to jump on the Trump train in droves, and sleepy, creepy, piss-pants Biden is still the worst president in modern American history. This election is far from over. In fact, I'd argue it's just getting started. Anyways, that's pretty much what I got for you guys on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.